Hello and welcome to continuation video about this Cambridge Audio Disc Magic 1 compact disc transport. Um, despite my fears, it, uh, it only required really a service, you know, belt replacement and uh, micro switches cleaning, a couple of capacitors, you know, that one was bulge and the other one was a bit high on ESR, but other than that it was it, it's all right and I didn't adjust the servo it works just fine but I, I want to tell you more about this transport because there is more to say um, this is from a days that Cambridge Audio um, collaborated with Pink Triangle and its designer John Westlake you can see always Joe there John A. Westlake and the same there on that board there so he always puts his uh, mark. So it's good when engineer not only does the um, actual circuit design, but also board design and its layout. You will notice uh, if you if you remember how the uh, DAC Magic look in, looks inside. Everything there is packed densely on small boards, and those boards are far away from each other. And in here, although they're not far away, but as you see, there is a copper shield around the input and output section, and then the servo is, is separate. What's interesting, we have two transformers. Uh, that is not uncommon in CD players, but this is not a CD player, this is a transport. So there's no sort of analog and digital section, everything here is digital. But um, that transformer there is for the servo, and this one is just for the input and output board. So, um, uh, there's an article where he wrote about design considerations, and, and PTI cannot include it in a uh, YouTube video. It's just too much typing because it's, it's scanned, it's not a, a normal text. Um, suffice to say that he, he dealt with a lot of um, considerations that are not that apparent, you know, it just looks like you know, any other player. But if you look closer, um, that there is a section, separate section for the Toslink, right? And, and there's some other DDD proprietary uh, socket there for, for Cambridge Audio. Then we have a normal uh, SPD and AESCPU and for shaping chips. Then there's another separate power supply and the whole of the middle is a Toslink input. This is a Toslink input from a DAC and this is to eliminate jitter and let the DAC control the transport where really any frequency variations are not that critical. I've had before um, esoteric P500 where that kind of thing was done after market by a guy I think in Melbourne and that was to work in conjunction with uh, Delta DAC. But I think this one has some protocols that would accept um, a number of machines that are specified that I just forgot what they were. Um, so there's more to it than that. You can see there's some clock there and all up. I mean that board has six regulators, you know, there's altogether nine regulators in, in just the transport. Um, it is, you know, not lavishly built, you know, if, if it was put uh, all this hardware into Mark Levinson, you know, it would cost $15,000. But, but Cambridge sort of deliver, you know, like Dell in computing, you, you get more for, for your dollar. I, I'm really happy with the way it, it plays and, and um, the actual reader is also very good. Uh, it, it reads CDs with uh, interruption data layer up to one and a half millimeters and uh, with the line painted on them two and a half millimeters and the standards on the 0.9 of a millimeter so it exceeds uh, the, um, the specification by a great deal. It has a uh, Sanyo laser, SFP1, uh, I think, uh, from memory. But it's, it's, it's one of the good ones, you know, with the metal um, body. 
die-cast body. Nice loader, as you've seen before. It, uh, it just the only thing that's sort of wrong with it is it has a few scratches on the display. They are probably all buff them out, but I'm worried that uh, the ones around the stop button, I won't be able to um, to do much about it. In general, good nick. I also had to replace feet because the rubbers uh, on the perished, so I fitted some new ones. It's a really good unit. I'll have to take it to my system and hook it up to the deck and just see what it does, you know. You know, we'll, we'll, I'll have to see if it makes a difference, really. Uh, if, if a proper transport does make a difference. Well, that's all, folks, and um, till the next one. Bye-bye.